Dear Mimi Walters, can you hear us? That's the sound of a generation, and it will not be silenced. $2.80. That's the price you have placed on our lives, having accepted $19,650 from the NRA while you watched 7,000 children being killed by gun violence since the Sandy Hook shooting in 2012. Know that we are watching you. We saw you vote no on allowing restraining orders based on gun violence. We saw you vote yes to allow veterans declared mentally incompetent to buy guns. We saw you vote no to expand the list of crimes disqualifying gun ownership. And we saw you vote no on expanding loaded firearm restrictions. So, don't tell us to learn CPR. Don't tell us more guns are the answers. Don't tell us the Bill of Rights is more important than thousands of lives. Don't tell us to stay out of politics. And don't tell us we are too young. Tell us what you're going to do about it, or don't say anything at all. Let me remind you, these laws were made when an African American was considered only three-fifths of a person, and when women belonged to their fathers and husbands. With us, we carry the spirit of the same voices that allowed you to own land, to vote, to take office, so you don't dare disrespect us. Teachers, parents, veterans, nations all agree you cannot equate human lives to your own want to own an assault rifle. In 1791, when our Bill of Rights was written, the most powerful gun could only fire 20 rounds at a time, and the average was three rounds per minute, while the AR-15, obtained legally by Nicholas Cruz, can fire 40 rounds in under a minute. And it did, right into the bodies of 34 teachers and students at Stoneman Douglas High School on February 14th, 2018. On February 14th, Nicholas Cruz fired the shot heard around the nation, and I can assure you it will ring out until every American can feel safe in their own school. We are saving our own lives now because you will not. We are armed with democracy, with education, with votes, with power, with voices. We are prepared to vote you and every other congressperson who dares put a price tag on our lives out of office. We will push each other, support each other to fight because we know now that we have to do that for ourselves. We are heard around the world. In fact, 850,000 of us were heard on your turf in Washington, D.C. on March 24th, along with thousands more standing around the nation in possibly the biggest protest ever. So, Congresswoman, I hope you enjoy your time left in office because it will be your last. Can you hear us? That's the sound of a generation. We're going to be doing a march in March I am here. on Washington Square. So students all over the country are going to be joining us right. because the adults have let us down. The people that we put into power who should be working for us, they have us working for them. And that's pathetic. That's pathetic. And we have to do the dirty work here. We're going to do the dirty work. We are going to shoulder this heavy burden. And we are going to do it well. From here on, we are creating a badge of shame for any politicians who are accepting money from the NRA. It is a special interest group that has... We call the